I'm understanding how to pull myself out of it, how to pull myself out of it. But this is the difference, my friend, is, and this is what I am talking about. When you feel as if you are stuck in a situation where you cannot get out, which I have been in several times in my life, you have to not necessarily agree with other things that are being said, you have to be open to it. So this is what happened. I'm in a dark place. I am feeling worthless. I'm feeling like a sinner. I'm feeling like the worst possible female human being on the face of the planet. I had a mom and a dad who took care of us. We grew up middle class. Nothing crazy happened. I wasn't like sexually abused or hit or bruised or anything. My dad was a little bit harsh. The religion was a little bit harsh, but nothing that was like catastrophic. And in my eyes, how did somebody who came from that end up broke, no money, no family, no friends, and with a baby, and in a narcissistic relationship, the only thing that could answer my question was God was punishing me. God was punishing me, he hated me, and this was the prison that I had to live in now because I was such a sinner. Because I was such a sinner. That is the state of mind that I was in. I felt like the dirt on the ground, just how could I have ever found my way down this path? And that is a lot of times what people are dealing with. They're in their life, they're sitting on their couch, and they're like, how the fuck did I end up here? How did I end up in this life right here? It makes no sense. I had opportunities. I could have done it this way. I could have made this choice. I could have done this. And instead, I decided to go down this trial, trial, trail of ridiculousness. And here I am. How am I here? And we, because of limiting beliefs, because there's such thing as karma, because there's a such thing as God, because there's a such thing as like universal power, we all of a sudden start believing that we are being punished because of the actions that we've made in our past. And this is what I'm here to tell you, my friends, that is not the answer. That is not the answer. That is not why. You are where you are because you made decisions and you made decisions based on your feelings, based on your thoughts, based on what you actually wanted to do. At that point in my life, when I got pregnant, I hadn't been educated on safe sex because I was always told, don't have sex. So I didn't know, not, not to say I didn't know, obviously I knew about condoms, but like there was a naivety, if that's even a word, around sex and getting pregnant and getting diseases that I wasn't sure, I was nervous, I was scared, but human tendencies in general wants you to have sex at a certain age. I was 20 years old. And so it's not that the action was bad, it's that I wasn't educated. It all goes back to educating yourself, educating your children. And if you weren't educated as a child, it is then your duty, it is your duty as you get older to educate yourself. You have to stop blaming your parents. You have to stop blaming your mom and your dad or your uncle or your grandma or whoever freaking raised you. You are at an age now, if you are listening to this, you are probably at an age now where you have the ability to make an educated um, decision on researching and educating yourself on how to do life. And this is what I'm here to tell you. There is a different way. There is a different way of doing life than the way that you've been doing it. Now, whether or not you think it's hocus or pocus, whether or not you think it's abr you know, um, abracadabra crap, magical crap, um, you know, <laughs> voodoo, uh, hypnosis, 
I don't really care what you think, but this is what I am telling you. If somebody, when I was younger, would have educated me, sat down with me and said, hey, listen, this is how a man and a woman have sex. This is what happens when a man and woman have sex. This is what you can do to prevent having a baby when you have sex. I guarantee you that the probability of me getting pregnant would have gone from here to here, from here to here, because I am a good student. And I guarantee you that the majority of you listening to this now are good students. The, the problem is that nobody taught you. Nobody taught you, and that's okay, because a lot of times your parents don't know all the answers either. See, they did it a little bit better than their parents, and then they did it a little bit better than their parents, and then you popped out, and they tried to do it a little bit better than their parents, and that's all you can expect. But now you are where you are, you're sitting on the couch, you're thinking to yourself, how the flip did I get here? How did this happen to me? This is not what I wanted. What do you do? You educate yourself. You have to educate yourself. It is your responsibility. It is your obligation as a human being to do it better than your parents did it. And this is why. Because the majority of you are either going to have kids or you have kids right now. You have kids right now that are depending on you to do it better than your parents did it this way, they are more educated than you were. And it's your obligation to do that. Absolutely. You have to start deciding what is important. What is important? What is truly important? See, the hours and the hours and the hours of watching endless amounts of ridiculous Netflix that aren't teaching you anything I'm not saying anything. This is what I'm saying. I'm not talking to everybody here. I am talking to the individuals who are sitting on their couch looking at their life and they're saying to themselves, what the frick? What the frick? How did I end up here? That's who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to everybody. If you're walking around in your life and you're totally fine and you're totally happy and everything in your life is going absolutely, totally, perfectly, then I'm not even talking to you. I am talking to the individuals who are down a path right now, have been led down a path, are walking down their path, and they're looking around and they're pissed off. That's who I'm talking to. But you have a choice. So you have power. And up until this point, I can guarantee you that you are playing the victim. And I'm not here to be mean or to hurt your feelings. I'm here to tell you the honest truth. And this is the thing. I was the best. I was the best at playing the victim for a very long time. I can't do it because of this. I can't do it because of this. I can't do it because of him or because of her or because of that or because of this. And every single issue, every single problem, challenge that came to my life that I wanted to fix, there was always a reason why I couldn't fix it. Because I was a victim. Because somebody was in my way. Because I was trapped. See, when I was in my narcissistic relationship for 13 years, I had no money, zero money for like the first eight or nine years. I was living paycheck to paycheck with a man who had a shitload of money and he purposely, purposely was financially abusing me on top of my son's father financially abusing me because he wasn't giving me child support. And I had this whole story wrapped up along with every other story that I told myself that I was stuck and it was all his fault. I'm going to be stuck in this horrible relationship because it's all his fault. But see, this is the difference. I decided to take the power back and I decided to educate myself. And I said, what if, what if I could change it? What if I could change it? Not. I'm going to change it, not there's no way of changing it. I just changed it a little. I went from there's no way to change my situation to what if I could. It was a baby step. 
I didn't go from I can't change the situation to I can change my situation because that's scary for some people. And that's what I'm trying to get you to transition into. If you're stuck at a shitty weight, if you're stuck at a shitty job, if you're stuck in a shitty life, in a shitty relationship, instead of going from there's no way to change it to I'm definitely going to change it. If you're the type of person that can't make that mental switch from here to here, then start in the middle and say, what if, what if I could, what would a person that wanted to change the trajectory of their life, what would they do? What would they do? What would that type of person do? And that my friends is where I started. It was a tippy toe. It was a baby step in the correct direction that led me from that all the way to the person that I am right now, which is a powerful, confident, and financially independent woman. And it all started from I can't to what if I could.